that's not going to stop me doing this video. Spring will soon be here and so will the insects. Background photography is a fun genre of photography that anyone can do with any type of equipment. However, when you start taking it seriously, you want to start getting those high detailed portrait shots of insects. These are quite often achieved by focus stacking your images. So I'm going to show you how to set up focus stacking and focus bracketing in the Olympus EM1 Mark II. Now, although I am using the OMD EM1 Mark II in this video. From what I've seen online, the same procedure is for most of OM system cameras, including the new OM1 Mark II. But why would we want to focus stack? It's the preferred way to get over the issue of a shallow depth of field. As we magnify in and get closer to our subject, our depth of field gets very, very thin. You can compensate a little bit by putting your f-stop up. However, when you get to a certain f-stop range, you start getting diffraction, which is an overall softening of the image. So to get a high depth of field and sharp images, we need to resort to focus stacking or focus bracketing. I'm going to explain how to activate those on this camera now and what the differences are. So for this video and these techniques, it all includes using a flash. If you are a natural light photographer, you might find this a little bit different. You might have to set your camera up differently and it's also slightly harder, but with a flash, we have some go-to figures. So for a single shot, these would normally be my settings. I'd have ISO 200, that's the native ISO for this camera, 200 on the shutter speed, F10 and a TTL on the flash. That's for a single shot. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to change those settings. I'm going to change the settings as we go along so I can explain to you what's going on. There are two different options with this camera. There's focus stacking and focus bracketing. Let's talk about the focus stacking first. To get to the focus stacking, we need to go to our bracketing mode and we need to turn it on. I'm always press OK when you're selecting options in this camera. Now we've got it turned on, we want to go press the right button to go into the options for bracketing and then down the bottom we have focus bracketing we'll turn that on and we have focus stacking so let's take a look at that first always press ok that's something i couldn't get used to so what this option does is it will give you a in-camera focus stacked image there are some positives and negatives to this option the positives are it's great for beginners because the camera is going to do the work for you it's going to take 15 shots it's then going to stack those images together and show you a result on the back of the screen now what the positive is there is you can instantly see if your stack has been successful it also gives you 15 raw files for you to edit and stack in your software afterwards on your computer so you can use the in-camera focus stacking as a preview to see if those files work that's a great way of doing it the reason i don't like it is i'm limited to 15 shots so on some subjects most subjects i'll be honest with you i'll use more than 15 shots that's why i don't use this particular option but for beginners it's great you then got your set focus differential mine's set to one you got wide and narrow focus differential is the distance the focusing will move between shots you want to use a wide when you've got a large subject and you only need a couple of shots and you want to use a narrow when you've got a smaller subject with more magnification where you need more shots to get a successful stack now i've played around with the focus differential and i'll be honest with you most of the time i'll just leave it on one two or three lately I've mostly just left it on one. So we can see here by this little icon here, bracketing is on and you see nothing's changed with our settings at all. If you're a natural light photographer, you're good to go. You'll press your button. Now this isn't going to work because my studio is dark, okay? And it's going to go through, taking all those images. It's going to come up saying busy. This is when it's stacking the images together and you'll see a progress bar come across. If it fails, obviously you get that message. And that's failed because I've got my lens cap on. We don't need to see that. But however, we're using a flash. So if we turn my flash on now, you see instantly just there we've dropped down to 150th when we're using a flash with focus bracketing or stacketing we are limited to 150th on the newer om1 camera and the om1 mark ii you have one 100th of a shutter limit on older cameras it may be one 20th of a shutter but this is where we start getting into the whole we want the sharpest possible image generally what you want to do is you want to get the sharpest f-stop for your setup and to find that out just take a series of images with different f-stops to see which one's the sharpest on this particular setup we're looking at around 5.6 iso 200 150 5.6 on the f-stop and generally i would have for that particular setting a 1 16th power on my flash that gives good results sometimes i will put the iso up to 400 and my power to 1 
32. It all depends on the situation. But that will give you good results. Here's a picture of my Lego Batman with those settings with the in-camera focus stacking. But as I alluded to before, I don't really use the in-camera focus stacking. I like to bracket my shot because I like to have a lot more shots for more detail, particularly in a high magnification situation. As you get closer, your depth of field gets narrower, which means you need more shots. If you don't have enough shots, you get results like this. You see how it's a little bit blurred in between the images? So if you do see that once you've stacked your images, it's because you haven't got enough shots in your stack. But let's go and have a look at focus bracketing. So let's go back to the bracketing, to focus bracketing. And for this, we want to turn off the focus stacking set number of shots that's how many shots you want in your stack you can set this to any number you want i've got mine set to 900 and the reason for that is i don't know how many shots i will need to get a successful stack it could be 50 100 150 200 i don't know setting it to 900 i get to choose when the stack is finished so when i'm looking through my evf we will take the shot you press your shutter button once to start the stack once i see the focus has gone beyond the point where i want to stack i will just press the shutter button once again to stop the stack again focus differential exactly the same as it was before you got one to ten i generally stick to one two or three depending on the subject if i've got a large beetle about that big i'll use three if i've got a really small subject a couple of millimeters in size i will be using one again a lot of the time i am using one now charge time we didn't speak about charge time on the last one Base charge time is it's the time between the shutter release for flash recharge so if you've got a, a flash that can't keep up with your camera like let's say it's 10 frames a second it can't keep up with it we can dial in charge time so if you need an extra half a second between the shots to charge your flash we can do that and that works quite well it avoids dark images in your stack generally with my setup which i'm using the goldox v350 i keep it at zero so again you got your built-in focus stacking that's basically for beginners or if you only need 15 shots if you need more than 15 shots or you're more advanced at stacking then you go to focus bracketing set your number of shots that you want again i'm at 900 so i choose the number of shots by cancelling the stack once it's done focus differential again that is the distance between each shot i leave it on one most of the time so i've got the most detail i can and then you've got your charge time that's basically your rate time after a shot's been taken for your flash to recharge so repeating myself again i just want to get it stuck in there to start a stack i will set my focus point to just in front of where i wanted to start so again you will press your shutter to start the stack the focusing will move from the closest point to the furthest point then once it gets to the point where you want to finish you just press your shutter button again and you'll have a series of focus bracketed images that you can then stack in the computer afterwards now this flash here the v350 is not very consistent with the power you can see here from the screenshot there some are dark some are light however your focus stacking software can compensate for that and also it can also compensate for your movement of the camera as well so i haven't really had much issue with focus stacking and getting it done with this setup so that is how to do focus stacking and focus bracking on the em1 mark ii again that works for most of the om system cameras including the new om1 mark ii if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you need to ask me directly then you can hit me up on social media instagram is probably the best place for you to contact me directly that or by email but that's where i shall leave this video i hope you found it useful i hope that you can get ready now for the new season ahead and get some focus stacking done but for now i want to thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one thank you for sticking to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please subscribe and click the like button it really does help out the channel i want to thank my patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel if you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.